Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and thanks so much for coming back to see me. It is always nice to see you and I am so excited for this video. It is how to take years off your face naturally and actually it does entail a little bit of a cost but that is maybe $29. It is super reasonable and it is my number one secret. A lot of you say, how do you have the good skin you have at 65 and you say, what are you using? And quite honestly, it is not mostly what I'm using. It is my own little secret that I will tell you about. And it's something kind of obvious, but the way in which I'm going to tell you, I hope impresses it upon your mind the way this information impressed it upon my mind. I know that sounds a little confusing, but before I get into that, I did want to show you the outfit and jewelry that I'm wearing today and the shoes. All of them are from Amazon and they're very reasonable in price. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty channel, I hope you'll subscribe. It's totally free. And if you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of all of my anti-aging videos or pro-aging if you choose that route instead. Okay, let's get into this and I can't wait to share this with you. And basically this is all based on a couple of studies I heard on Dr. Brad Stanfield's channel and he shared two anti-aging or pro-aging stories. And you know, I have to be honest with you, I am into anti-aging if aging is getting older and more infirm, having a heart attack like Darlene did, or a stroke like I did. And I'll link that video below because if you haven't seen that video, you do need to know how to identify a stroke coming on in you or a loved one. That is a viral video of mine and it is well worth seeing and passing on. And I learned about two studies which are kind of the basis for this video on Dr. Brad Stanfield's channel. The first study was a double blind study and here it is. It says facial appearance reflects human familial longevity and cardiovascular disease risk in healthy individuals. And basically what that means is they did a study and those that looked younger and had younger appearing skin in particular, they lived longer and they had a much lower risk of cardiovascular disease. So it is not just vanity to care about how we look to try to look as young and fresh as we can. It's actually backed by science that the younger we look, the longer we're likely to live. And that could just be because when you look in the mirror and you see a young vital version of you, you get out there and you exercise and you eat right and you take care of yourself. So that was a great study. And the second study I learned about was really even more important to me and it really impressed the importance of this one element on my mind and basically it is a randomized controlled trial and what it showed is that those people who wear sunscreen every single day in four and a half years they were able to totally halt their skin aging yes that's absolutely right they started doing daily sunblock every single day Four and a half years later, they looked at their skin and this was double blind. So the researchers didn't know what skin they were looking at. The people didn't know if they had sunscreen or just an inert cream. But those that had used daily sunblock, their skin aging totally stopped from four and a half years ago. The way to halt aging is absolutely to use sunblock every single day. And you know, I'm probably like a lot of you. I ended up being a beauty YouTuber, but I'm a human being and I am just as subject to going, oh, I don't really want to wear sunblock today. You know, I've got some in my foundation or I'm not going to be out very much today. Well, I'm guilty of that sometimes too. But after I heard about that study, that daily sunblock application actually halts aging. From that point on, I started to religiously use sunblock every day and I hope you will do the same. There's no excuse not to take the 30 seconds it takes to apply sunscreen and it makes a huge difference in the beauty and the aging and the health of your skin. And let me show you two of my favorites in terms of sunscreen. This is the LTMD Skin Care UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. And this is not the tinted. I believe this is the clear. I particularly like the tinted, but this was the one that didn't look all gunked up because it was the newer one. And actually, even more than that, I've really been liking this Color Science or Color Essence. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section how you say that but it is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield 50. And this has a little bit of a tint to it and a little bit of a matte look. And I can almost get away with wearing this on a no makeup day, kind of as a light foundation or BB cream. I really do like this one, but it doesn't matter which sunblock you wear. It just matters that you wear it and that you actually apply it every single day. Now, again, many people say, Beth, how do you have such nice skin at 65? 
There don't appear to be hardly any brown spots, and that's true. I really don't hardly have any brown spots. I don't have that many wrinkles, and my sagging is doing okay too. And I firmly believe the reason for that is not just sunblock application, but it is aggressive sun avoidance. And let me show you a picture of myself from my recent girls trip. And here I am with all the girls. And as you can see there, you can hardly see my face because of that big black visor. And I absolutely love this visor and it is linked below. I love it because it's extremely packable. You can just put it into a purse or a beach bag, something like that. And then you can unwrap it when you get to your location. I wear this all the time. And you know, I'm not very vain at all when it comes to how I look when I'm outside because if I'm outside during the day, it's kind of a battle between me and the sun and I really don't care how weird I look. I will side all the time with sun protection. So this is a wonderful visor. And, and there you can see me and Jane. She's one of my girls group too. And Jane, you're having a hip replacement today. And I pray it goes beautifully, beautifully, beautifully for you. I absolutely know that you will come through that just beautifully and happy hip replacement day. And here's another look at me with my visor on in the boat. And as you'll see, I'm wearing black sleeves. Everybody else has short sleeves on because it's kind of hot out there. But again, fashion isn't the first thing to me when I'm on the beach or out in the sun in the summer. And let me show you, I actually carry these around in my purse. And what they are is black sleeves. And I think they call them a shrug on Amazon. It was kind of hard to find them. And I actually got this one from Cabby maybe six or seven years ago. It's the only thing I still have from Cabby after all those years but basically you can, you can use this in a theater when it gets cold, or you can use it outside when you have a sleeveless top on, which I do wear sleeveless, but whenever I'm outside, I'm usually wearing this. And I've linked one below from Coolie Bar, but I don't really like it as well as this. This is basically just the sleeves and the Coolie Bar one comes clear across here, but it would protect you from the sun, which is just great. Now I mentioned this visor, and I also use this sometimes, mostly when I garden. I used to go to my kids' soccer games with this on, and there is no embarrassment like your mother wearing this. I look like Darth Vader. You know, the kids were really embarrassed, but I had this, and I also had my sunbrella with me, and this is a UV protecting umbrella. And I keep this in my car with me, and I don't use it all the time when I'm running into a store. But for instance, when I'm trying to get my steps in and I have a new Fitbit, I'm going to try to get the 10,000 steps in a day because since my stroke, I'm really trying to up my health game. And if you all use a Fitbit, let me know and let me know if you like it. I'm excited because it will track my sleep in addition to my steps. This is an SPF sun reflective umbrella. And like if I park way on the other side of the parking lot, way away from Walmart, I will use this to go in and out of Walmart because I really don't like all that sun getting on me in the parking lot. And this reminds me a little bit of what my great grandmother must have experienced because she lived down south and they always had parasols because way back when they really appreciated keeping a woman's skin nice, which I appreciate as well. Now, another thing that I carry in my car is these SPF sun protection gloves. And they're just little cotton gloves. And quite honestly, I'm not sure if they really have that much SPF but I know that material gives you a certain amount. And so I wear these and they're fingerless and I don't wear these all the time. It's just if I'm going to spend maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes running across town, or certainly if I'm going out of town, I will wear these sun avoidance gloves, which I think are very good. And on my channel coming up soon, I'm going to be doing a series of videos about incorporating movement into our lives because ladies, <laughs> I guess my stroke really was a wake up call to me that it's really not as much about looks and makeup and all that, although all that is fun. It is really all about good health. And part of that is getting exercise. And one of my videos I have coming up very soon is an e-bike video. I've got a new e-bike and I'm so excited. And I bought some biking clothes to go with that. And this was a bike shirt that I had that my boys got me maybe about three or four years ago but it has no sleeves and I really don't like that because having these arms exposed, you know, it is just really not good for your skin. So I got a breathable long sleeve bike jersey and I've tried this outside and as much as you would think the long sleeves would make it hot, this is a very breathable fabric and it's not very tight to your skin. And so I really like the extra sun protection that this gives you. And instead of black biking shorts, 
I actually got long black leggings that are SPF for my bike riding because I know me and if I were facing going out in the sun with everything exposed, I probably would just not go out to bike at all. So I think having the long sleeves and the leggings and also of course the helmet will really get me out there biking, which is great. And I also have these little bike gloves and they're not specifically SPF. They're really more for the comfort of bike riding, but I really like it that they will cover up my hands. Now, while I was doing my research for this video, I actually just ordered something today that won't be in until tomorrow, but here it is. And it is actually a swimsuit shirt. And at first I was looking for a swim shirt to wear over a bathing suit. And then when I looked at this more closely, number one, it's very well rated and it's very reasonable in price. People are just wearing that as your swimsuit top along with some black bottoms, which of course we all have black bottoms. And I really like that one. And I'll probably also order this one that you can see there, but I decided to wait to get the black and white one and make sure the small will fit me because once in a while on swim things, I really do need to go up to a medium. But I plan on ordering that second bike top because whenever we go on vacations, I really like to have two swimsuits. And from now on, I plan to wear those long sleeve swim tops instead of standard bikini tops. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And today's thought for the day is a bit different. It's on extraordinary women. And extraordinary is extraordinary. And my friend Donna Gambino is an extraordinary woman. And I would like to share information with you about her, her YouTube channel, and her wonderful Instagram account. She is a crafter. Well, first and foremost, let me get back to the beginning. I met Donna because she saw one of my videos and she said, Beth, I'm a physical therapist and I'm kind of worried because you're slumping over a little bit. And so we did a video together and we became friends maybe a year and a half ago, something like that. And in the time that I've known Donna, she is definitely one of the most extraordinary women I have ever met. Not only is she a well-known physical therapist who has written a book, she has a YouTube channel. And here's a look at her physical therapy YouTube channel called Infinity Health Pilates. And she has many videos there about how to solve your aches and pains and also just to get older more gracefully because all of us do get older and it is very helpful to know how to do that in the right way. And physical therapy really does help that. But what this video is really about is Donna's creativity. In fact, I always tell Donna that she is Martha Stewart. There is no doubt about it. Do you know those women who you have no idea how they have all the hours in the day needed to do what they do? Well, Donna is definitely one of those women. Let me show you how I learned about Donna's creativity. And that is, see this little ornament here? This is called needle felting. And basically she takes a tuft of cotton or something like that. She kind of pulls it out and ties it up. And before you know it, it has become a delightful character, just like this little ornament she gave me. And this was a couple of Christmases ago, but isn't that darling? And it almost looks like a little YouTuber with the false lashes on that cute little bear. Absolutely love that. And Donna has a wonderful Instagram account, which I'll link below. Below, and here is a look at it. It is called DLG Designs 22 and I follow her and I get almost daily updates from her Instagram on new creations. And before I get into specifically needle felting, which is what she's featuring today, I just want to tell you a little bit about Donna because she's totally amazing. She moved across the country into a brand new state and a brand new house and she and her husband have totally decorated her home. And she sends me pictures of everything and it is so, so beautiful. It is unbelievable. And also they're super handy. For instance, they had a dining room set that was wood and they actually painted it and refinished it. It looks very French country and it took her a long time. She and her husband totally did it right but it turned out absolutely beautiful. And in addition to that, Donna is a great cook and entertainer. You should see her table designs. They are amazing. In fact, she takes pictures of them and I would love to get some of her pictures to share with you. They are crazy great. And just like Martha Stewart, Donna is an excellent gardener and she even starts seeds every year in her basement to put out in her planting beds. She is truly amazing. And basically when you go to her Instagram, all of her designs are made to order. You can just reach out to her, send her a DM and tell her you're interested in something and she'll give you the price and you can pick your colors and that kind of thing. She does all kinds of dogs and animals, which are absolutely darling. She also does extensive amounts of needle felting around the Halloween season. And here are some of her Christmas designs and they are absolutely gorgeous. And in fact, I would love to share her Christmas decor in her home around the holidays to let you see more of her creativity there. 
because her home at Christmas is just gorgeous. I think she has three Christmas trees. Oh, I did want to finish up with a quote Donna gave me, and she says it is one of her favorite quotes. This is a thought for the day, after all. Her quote is, God creates through the creative. God creates through the creative. And that is certainly true of Donna. And the thing I like best about all of Donna's creations is when you look at each one, it's like each one has its own little personality. It's kind of like Donna's own love and care is coming through each of her creations, helping to fill your home with love. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.